Mince is such a staple of family meals. We all cook with it, but we don't necessarily love it. Because too often, mince that we might buy from the supermarket just doesn't deliver on taste or texture. In my view, it's always the cheaper cuts of meat where quality really tells. Red Ruby Devon Beef Minced tastes great, and I guarantee it's gonna turn your family's taste buds on. I'm gonna show you how to make a great meatloaf. Right, I'm gonna show you how to make this great family meatloaf, and this is gonna make two meals, which I'll talk to you about in a moment. But to make the meatloaf, the first thing you need to do is to line your loaf tin. And you need streaky bacon for this, because that works the best. And you want to do a weird thing called stretching the bacon. Now, it's not the end of the world if you forget. It doesn't matter. But when bacon cooks, it shrinks. So what you need to do is just stretch it using the back of the knife. All right, so let's just move that out of the way. And let's now make the filling for this. So the first thing is to just fry off a little bit of onion in a touch of rapeseed oil. And I've done that already, and it's just softened it a bit. And I'm gonna add the garlic now. I don't add the garlic at the beginning because I don't want the garlic to burn, all right? So garlic going in there. We've also got some bread going into the meatloaf. And what really helps give it flavor is to slice your bread and then just break it into pieces and toast it in the oven. And that gives it a really, really lovely flavor. You then take your bread, and this doesn't look very attractive at this stage, but take your crudes and add milk and sour cream onto your toasted crudes. I'm now gonna add some thyme and some sage into that. Take it off the heat, cool it down. Little bit of nutmeg going in there. I like lots and lots of nutmeg. Mix that together and now you're ready to mix in. The only thing that I haven't added in yet is the egg. So, into the meat mixture, I'm going to add the onion and the garlic, going straight in like that. Then, I'm going to add this bread mixture. All right, so this is the toasted croutes, the sour cream, and the milk. And it's just been sitting in there for about five minutes. Seasoning, salt and pepper. You need quite a lot of seasoning. You've got quite a lot of lovely meat there. And also mustard, Dijon. So it's not too strong, but it's just got a little bit of a kick. The final thing that's going to go in is the egg. And I'm just gonna crack that on top of the bread like that. And then all I'm gonna do, and this is the best thing to do, is to use your hands and just get in there and scrunch it all together. Once it's all mixed, shake it off. Take your meatloaf here. Pick it up with your hands. You don't really need to shape it into a loaf. Just pick it up like that, you can see. And then press it into the tin. Now you want to preheat your oven to gas mark five, that's about 180 degrees Celsius. And it will take round about an hour and, approximately an hour and 20 minutes to cook. And then just those sort of bacon bits that you had hanging over, you just fold them over like that. Put it on a baking tray, because you will, might get a few sort of juices coming out. And then what I'm gonna do is just cover this with foil and put it in the oven for about an hour and 20 minutes. Oh, it's smelling good in here. So the meatloaf is cooked. It's been out resting for about 15 minutes. And while it's been cooking, I've just roasted off some peppers and onions and garlic. And I'm going to serve with this a lovely puy lentil and pepper salad. What I am going to do is make a really, really lovely um, dressing using olive oil and balsamic. And I've got the garlic to be really soft. You can see that there. And I'm just gonna squeeze that roasted garlic into the dressing. So just mix that through like that. Puy lentils or green lentils, you don't have to soak them before. All you have to do is just simmer them in a bit of vegetable stock or water for about 20 minutes and drain them. 
And then what I'm going to do is just use my hands and I'm just going to pick up all these roasted red onions, which are quite hot. So they're just warm and then just pour them through the lentils like that. And then the lovely dressing, the real garlicky dressing. Pour that all in there. Wow. And mix that through. So it's really rich and gorgeous. A little bit of pepper. And then I'm just going to pour that onto a platter. Just going to move that there. Right, exciting bit now, the meatloaf. So let's just bring that over here. It's still a bit warm, take that off. And I'm going to turn it out. Hopefully, it'll come out. You might have a little bit of extra juice in the tin still, so just pour it off. And it's far better to serve it that way up, all right? And I'm just going to slice it now into fairly thick slices. Still all lovely and moist. And even though it's been sitting out for 15 minutes, that's really important, just letting that rest. A little bit of watercress or spinach. Just lightly dressed spinach on the side, like that. And there's your meatloaf. Serve that with the lentils. Really hearty and perfect for this time of year. And I'm also going to show you what else you can do with the leftovers. So I promised you a second dish with the meatloaf. So day two, once it's gone cold and you've got leftovers, simply just toast some pita breads and you can stuff them with your favourite lettuce and any leftover lentils. And then you can just pop in your cold meatloaf like that and finish off with hummus sauce, which is just literally hummus, which you can buy ready-made and a bit of Greek yogurt and just pile that on the top. Sit that on a plate and enjoy. <laughs>